Phones are getting bigger and bigger for the sake of multitasking and more screen real estate and yet the only form factor making leaps on the multitasking side of things are the folding book style devices. That's where Smart Dog comes into play. You can now get a universal dock at the bottom of your phone screen to access your favorite or recent apps in a quick gesture. Honestly, for a phone as big as the S24 Ultra and for someone like me who uses this phone a lot for work related things, my hands can get quite fatigued by constantly jumping in and out of apps, but this, this app makes it quite a bit more bearable and lets my hand rest. Besides, it looks cool and it can be customized. We're about to take a dive for the first time ever on this channel, by the way, into apps that aren't available on the Play Store. All these apps are going to be absolutely free to download and use. I will leave a link to all these apps in the description down below, so make sure you let me know what apps from this list you're about to get. And with that being said, let's move on to the next app. Seal is a straight and simple app which allows you to download any video on the face of the internet. As long as you can get a link to the video in question, you can paste the link in the app and it'll do exactly what it says it does. Download the video. No questions asked, no ads, no purchases, no subscriptions, no BS, just a straight to the point kind of app that lets you download videos and audio from pretty much anywhere on the internet. If you're looking for an OBS weather app that isn't very heavy on the system, doesn't overload you with information and looks clean and simple, then Climber is the answer to all your needs. It gives you clear-cut information about the weather for the day and forecasts the week ahead as well. The minimal design makes for a clean look that doesn't need much customization, which in turn also makes it a very lightweight app. You have the options to choose light or dark theme, with the addition of choosing a fully black theme as well for the AMOLED devices, but that's pretty much it for the customization. At the end of it, it is just a clean and simple app that tells you the weather, gets the job done perfectly. However, if you're looking for more than just a clean and simple weather app and want something with a bit more personality, the Nothing Weather app should do the trick. The Nothing phone has a personality to it that a lot of other devices just fail to achieve. This makes that personality even more attractive and brings it straight to you in the form of a weather app. From the font to the illustrations, it is exactly what you need from a weather app from nothing. This too is a no BS, straight to the point weather app that isn't heavy on the system but adds personality to your device's weather system. X Manager lets you unlock most of Spotify premium features for free. The app lets you have an ad free experience with unlimited skips and rewinds. This is literally Spotify Premium, but without the ability to download songs for offline listening. That's pretty much the only thing between paying a monthly subscription and having the premium features for free. If you're not into Spotify, however, try this next app. V Music lets you listen to any song from YouTube Music absolutely for free without even making an account. It's literally just download and play. Nothing else is needed at all. As long as the songs are available on YouTube Music, which a lot of the music out there is, you can have it on your phone for absolutely free. Feel free to create playlists, follow artists, and if you want to personalize the app, you have a few customization options here and there to tickle the itch as well. But if you're more of a podcast person and your podcasts aren't available on one app or the other, what do you do? Well, Podverse. This comes in handy if you love podcasts, want to stay up to date with them, and keep them all under one roof. This app lets you search podcasts and follow them under one app, all for free. You don't need to sign up or log in, just search for the podcast you want and subscribe to it. It will show up in your feed. It does a great job of categorizing everything from your podcast like episodes, clips, and the podcast themselves. And as long as your podcast exists, you will be able to find it here. And in case you cannot, you can always request a podcast from within the app and the devs will take care of the rest. Gramophone is the last one on the list for media listening, but hear me out on this one. With all of these options, we still can't download music for offline listening, which will make you go to other sources to get your music offline. Well, if you are downloading them onto your phone, Gramophone gives you a beautiful Android material you design themed media player with smooth animations, and that makes your audio playing experience a lot better than what your phone might resort to by default. Ever since the fall of Google's own music player from Android, this honestly has been the next and best option that I've liked using and looking at. This could also top what Google used to provide by default on the phones for me personally. If you're familiar with Crunchyroll, 
and are an avid visitor of the website, you know that their premium service is pretty good. And it's pretty much a must-have for any anime or manga fan. But before you pay for that, download Psycho. Psycho is a free anime and manga streaming and downloading app that lets you access any of your favorite titles and keep them with you for free of charge forever. This app comes with a very friendly UI that feels very up-to-date and easy to navigate. It only makes sense for it to have everything laid out perfectly because they have a lot going on in the background to support it. Everything is well categorized and it keeps a track of where you left last time so you can continue from where you left off, be it an anime or a manga that you're reading. Honestly, exactly the app you need to tickle the anime and manga itch. When was the last time you needed your phone screen to not go off but you were too lazy to navigate through to the settings to change the screen timeout settings? This is where coffee comes in. Coffee is a tiny tool that can add a tile in your quick settings panel that disables screen timeout entirely. So be it following a recipe while cooking or handing your phone over to your grandparents to look at the photo, the screen will stay on unless you manually lock it or you disable coffee from the quick panel settings. It comes in handy more often than not and it sits there in the quick settings panel like a nifty little tool ready to be used when needed. Rise of VPN is a free VPN that actually does what it's supposed to do with no ads, no sign up, no information exchange, no drama and no overcomplicated features. Rise of VPN turns to action mode with the press of a single button. They believe heavily in the use of VPN or Tor to make the internet more private and encrypt your connection. They believe that the internet is being destroyed by governments, ISPs and corporations, which I too stand with. So for me, it was at least worth checking out the app. Although the app is free, they do accept donations. And I suggest you do, as it stands for a very good cause. Now with that app out of the way, this has been my list of the apps that are secret and not on the Play Store, completely hidden away and worth checking out. If you download one for yourself, do let me know which one and why you do so in the comments down below. And let me know if you enjoy these app style videos. And if you do, I'll probably come back with another one. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.